is bigger than the Gutenberg Press. Oh, come but I mean, this is a major game changer. The, I, mean, I mean, that's it. I hope so. I, I think it's a real symbol of uh, things to come. This 3D printer and all these systems, that is the real level of really empowering people. That's the that's a real goal of the project. Well, for making professional quality models. Desktop 3D printer will begin transforming your digital 3D model into a physical 3D model on a personal 3D printer. The new model is also a little bit quieter when it prints, but it's also faster and more accurate. We're trying to make the bioprinter. Proof of concept mm -hmm. can be done. Mm -hmm. But obviously this is, this can't be a product. People in the lab couldn't use this. This is laughable, right? We're trying to take the, the cartridge off, which success is out. And now we're evaluating how big it is and if, it, if there's some uh, burned nozzles. I don't know if, it, if it's noticeable, I hope. <laughs> we're controlling each one of these nozzles individually to print out a, an image. And it's basically done like this. This is basically an ASCII image of it. Yeah. We're trying to think more of the code. We're running Arduino. So it's an open source platform to drive our all our electronics. We're using code from Patrick from BioCurious. Thank you for the code. Mm -hmm. We're using two libraries, mm -hmm. InkShield, which corresponds to this whiteboard that we have here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna show you how it prints. You seeing it? Instead of this, this blue ink, we're gonna have the biological material that they're developing in the next room. And also because this is a modular system, it uses this to, to bring the, the bacteria and stuff, the bacteria that they're producing. We need them to be very sturdy. If, it, if it's taped on cardboard, it will break. Actually, it didn't break. <laughs> We're going to demolish a CD player. <laughs> because for the fun of it. Dangerous knife, huh? I just met you sit and look at the moy thing here today. I'm getting some practice now how to demolish a CD player. <laughs> so, <laughs> because it has a, the wrong motor. Yeah. Okay. The motor with just two wires, that's no good. Huh? Yeah, exactly. You need a motor with at least four wires. Yeah. Four wires. One, two, three, four. Four wires is good. Can I cut the red wire first? That's a good idea. And then you know. This is um, uh, the optics, the optical part uh, of a CD player. Yeah, bends there. What we need from this is the stepper motor. That's it, yeah. Yeah, there's other drivers as well. That, um, other CD drivers, and some other slides. Yeah, well, they, they use DC motors. So, in that way, they can't, um, you can't use them. No, because we specifically need steppers. Actually, if we um, place it like that, we can very easily move the whole thing back and forth. Cool. These are the two components? Yes. Oh. Basically, yeah, making a shelf for this thing, right? Shit. Yep. Yes. That's actually what we're gonna need. The arch. Yeah. Nah, it's good enough. I want to mark it. If you if you keep this thing, you, we could put an enclosure. No, 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 no because we need to we need to make an H, we need to take a make an H make a bridge. If the game was that the cells can pass to the pores. Uh, and, we, and with the cannon, it cannot because cannon and arrows have very m much more tinier uh, pores. This. Um, the band and we need the band to be intact. Oh my god. Ik ga een printer slopen. Dit mag er ook allemaal uit. She 
and uh, you, need to, you, you need the whole cartridge. There is already uh, a, something in the carriage that can make the connection to this, and that might be easier to solder to. Ta-da! Inkjet. It's not laser. Perhaps we can drive this one. Also, it doesn't have the same number. But based on the experience using the, the other cartridges, it might be possible to at least output some ink. But yeah, I don't know the voltage or how it works or... It's a very nice uh, fish uh, oh, store. Beautiful. I like producing the material. Yeah. And it was funny because they was already dead, so even yeah. it's dead. It's uh, a special kit? Yeah, a kit. That would be right. Yeah, what's the name of this? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a No, no, no. It's on any any fish you get from the ocean. So if you're lucky, you actually get multiple colors. For example, you can get green, blue, yellow, red. Then that, that would be really cool because then we can print something uh, in. Multiple colors. We gaan allerlei verschillende uh, bacteriën zien. Maar we moeten straks goed in het donker gaan zitten en in het donker zien we dan welke licht geven. Yes, yes beautiful. Yeah. Look there. Nice agary. Now we're getting to the final moment of this experiment. Now there's a layer of uh, agar and also seawater in it, so it's exactly the kind of environment that the bacteria that we're trying to isolate like very much. We're going to scrape the fish and then put it on the plate. We'll take a knife and sterilize it with fire. And then when you touch the fish and then on the plate you uh, have to move it around in a special uh, way. You start on one side and just move, move uh, back and forth. And then uh, after a while you t take another direction, so in that way you will actually dilute your uh, bacteria a little. And then from there you also move around in the other direction and then in another direction, so you have a special... Yeah, you diluted it uh, four times. And that's it! <laughs> he doesn't have very good skin. <laughs> Maybe you put your place in the incubator, yeah. and we'll see what we grow there. After you're done, uh, well, then we're going to go into a very dark room and see whether we can see any light. Mm -hmm. oh, so these fluorescent? Uh, they luminous. Luminous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. These are the glowing bacteria. So then I would again sterilize my spoon and then just touch this one. Mm -hmm. and then grow another plate with only this uh, colony as a starting point and then you grow a full plate of just glowing bacteria and then from there you can also for example uh, grow a bottle full of it and then you have a liquid culture uh, why do bacteria decide to fluoresce uh, because they uh, have a symbiotic relationship with uh, other organisms mm -hmm. i tried to explain for example the, squi yeah. the squid use yeah, it as a the use it as a camouflage for uh, uh, hiding from the moon or, or is looking at like the moon so the squid is fluorescing because of bacteria on it or the fl yeah. squid fluoresces itself? No, the no. Squid doesn't. So, the so this is a symbiotic relation of Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get yeah. So I get something uh, yeah, in, in exchange for it. Something like we yeah. have, I don't know, a zillion times more bacteria cells than our own cells. Yeah, about, uh, yeah. about a thousand times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you wonder who's the host. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just a bag full of bacteria walking around. Yeah. 
uh, deze motor zit op een uh, uh, 3D-frees die ik omgebouwd heb tot 3D-printer. En dat is het hot end dat je daar kan zitten, zien zitten. Daar komt normaal niet, daar komt, daar, of daar komt uh, gesmolten plastic uit. Dat drijf ik aan met deze motor. Gaat dan door deze slang hierheen. En uiteindelijk wordt het daar gesmolten en kan ik mijn plastic objecten opbouwen. Dus goed, ja, uiteindelijk moet ik nou dit motortje zien aan te drijven. Dat dit, dit spuitje leeggedrukt kan worden. En dan heb ik de, de andere kant van uh, nou ja, het bioprinten uh, uh, ongeveer voor elkaar. Maar je laat dus ook die gel, je laat gewoon bepaalde bacteriën. Uh, nee, de, uh, de grap is dat je, dat je het in de gel al zelf je, je bacteriën stopt. Dus uh, ik ga zo meteen met dit spuitje, haal ik even wat van deze gel eruit, terwijl die koud is. En dan bied ik bij Pieter bied ik, uh, bacterieoplossing, uh, ongeveer één op één. En uh, als het goed gaat, heb ik dan een gel over met bacteriën erin. En die zouden dus, als die bacteriën ook nog gelijk op willen lichten, dan zou je dus gelijk op bouwplatformen al wat oplichtends kunnen zien. Uh, a gel you can use for 3D printing with cells. Um, it has some very specific uh, uh, actions like um, when you cool it down, it becomes liquid. And when you warm it up to about room temperature, a bit higher, then it, it gels like it is now and you can print more solid structures with it. What I'm uh, uh, planning to do, or hoping to do, is uh, take a bit of this, mix it with bacteria, the, um, the zeevonk, the luminescent bacteria, and um, let it warm up a bit so it gels, and then I can print with it and print some structures that are more than 2D, or hopefully. But that uh, re still remains to be seen. I had them waiting, but now it looks like it's still ja, ah, jammer. Jammer, jammer. Hoe een schaaltje? Volgende poging doen. Ja, hij is uh, stap aan het vliegen. Nou, dit gaat er nu mis. Shut up. Yeah. I love you too, darling. Uh, I don't, don't, didn't have the safety end stops on this machine, uh, didn't have a lot of stuff, uh, it tried to move much faster than it could, so now it lost some steps and oh, it ruined the drawing. It's supposed to make those three circles? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, four circles. Four circles. Yeah. Should look like a bit like bio uh, well, I see four circles in there. Yeah, cer certainly. Not perfect yet. <laughs> well, that, that, that's, that's the problem with... Lots of people, of course, and also me. You want it to be perfect first time. Won't happen. Won't happen. We don't know. The goal is to do any printing at all. 